So, you might have clicked on this video and you're like, well, this operating system right now, it doesn't look like Twister OS. So, that's what I'm going to be explaining right now, and then we'll get to some other parts. So, I recently, I've loved Raspberry Pi OS, and I've been using that as my main operating system on my Raspberry Pi for the last month, I guess. And I use it for whenever I turn on my Raspberry Pi, I normally just boot up into Raspberry Pi OS and, and am able to do whatever I want in Raspberry Pi OS. Well then, I was trying out Twister OS for another project recently, and I just loved all of the awesome apps that are pre-installed here, and just the, the support. You can get so much support in here, and they fix stuff for you so well, and I just really loved it. So I decided to make the switch from Raspberry Pi OS over to Twister OS. Which I love Twister OS. I love the themes. But on my operating systems, I just really get bored of the default themes. And I love to theme them up. So this is the default Twister OS theme. But I have changed it up a lot. So that's what I'll be explaining. And then we'll get to some apps. But I mean, you could use this the default way too. But I just get bored of default ways. And I love to switch it up and myself like even when i use my operating system every week or so i get bored of the wallpaper i get bored bored of the way it looks and i switch it up i don't know that's just a thing with me i get bored of the looks so i want to switch it around so to start out the default twister os theme comes with the xfce dock at the bottom and it looks good enough but i prefer the look of plank so i installed plank right here and i'm actually using one of the themes that came in here. I'm using the Catalina Dark. So it's actually a Mac OS theme. And I'm using the 38 icons size. If I wanted an icon zoom, I could turn that on, you see. And the icons would zoom up. But I don't really like that. Because it takes down the performance too. So I just turned that off. Behavior, I haven't really changed anything here. Docklets, I've added a trash docklet. So I can easily empty my trash and stuff like that. And then if we look over here, I have added this time and date and then some weather apps right here. So I actually saw this on the internet and I wanted to try it out and I really loved it. It's actually Conky. So if you know what Conky is, you can just install it with sudo apt install Conky. And then you can actually search the web for different Conky themes and they're super easy to install. And they just make your desktop look so pretty and elegant in my opinion. So I download this from the internet, I installed it. And I really liked it, so I added it to the auto start list, which you can just open up right here and auto start. Well, startup and session startup is what it's called. And then you can just go to application auto start, and you see right here I have Conky. Well, it's unticked right now because of a thing, but I can just take that back up. And yeah, these are your startup applications, they're all in this awesome thing. So that's there for my clock on the desktop in my opinion looks really cool i can actually leave the link to the theme in the description so you could try it out too and then if you see i actually it may look like i don't have a dock at the top but i do and that is because i like to have a big desktop where i can have a lot of space so i tend to minimize my dock a lot and if you're interested to know how i did my dock at the bottom like that you can just hold hold right here go to panel panel preferences click on that and you go over here to automatically hide the panel and you can always or you could go intelligently and it would be here when you don't have apps open if you made apps full screen it would hide it so that's also a good choice but i like it this way and then if we look at the dock a little more i have the default twister os menu right here i didn't change anything here i really like the look of it it looks nice and elegant and of course we have about twister os i'm just a huge fan of this because i am myself a mac user and i really love the about my mac thing and this one just looks so elegant and just like it so i'm a huge fan of it and then right here i've added the global menu so if you don't know what that is also this is like a mac feature if you if you're a mac user you know at the top you have the desktop files documents you have these things right here that you can easily access stuff so that is what that is basically. And if I was to open up my file manager, you see we have the app name right here and we have some shortcuts to help us do stuff easily. So it's just a really nice thing 
and I really like using it. So I also added that to the bar. It wasn't there by default. You just right click and you go panel, panel preferences, items. It's actually already installed. So if you want to install something, you would just click that add button. Where is it right here? This add and you would just search for global menu and you click add and then you could place it wherever on the top panel that you wanted to. So that's just something I really like. And then we have on demand, which is like this CPU information stuff that comes pre-installed. I'll talk about that in a minute. We have Bluetooth, we have our battery and yeah. So that's about it. I haven't changed anything else there. But as you might notice, I have changed some of the icons. So what I did, let's just go over to appearance settings and then I'll show you guys. You can go over here to appearance. And the default style, if you scroll down right here, where is it? It would be in T. So there's a Twister OS theme made by Greyduck, I guess. And it looks really cool, but I just want a little bit more of a darker theme. So I installed Arc Dark, and I really like the look of it. I used it on my last Raspberry Pi OS desktop setup video, too. It just looks really cool, in my opinion. So I installed that from the terminal, and I use that. Icons, I use the Papyrus icons. I used this in my last video, too. I don't know. I just really like the look of them. They look so clean and so pretty, and they're kind of minimalist, so I like to look at that, so I just stay with that. Fonts, I did change the fonts, too. I installed the Roboto fonts, and they look really nice, too, in my opinion. They just make the desktop have a little different feel that I would like to have on my desktop, so I install that. Settings, I haven't changed anything else. So that's about it for those settings. And then to get to the software side of it, I installed this wallpaper too. I mean, I just found it on the internet. It looked cool in my opinion. One thing I installed, which is on Pi Apps, is called U Launcher. So this is the icon for that right here. We can go to preferences real fast, and then I'll show you what it is. So it's like Spotlight Search on a Mac. And I really, I use this thing so much. It's like so useful for me. I can't tell you how much I love it and how much I would recommend using it. So you can just install it with Pi Apps. I'll show it in a minute, but just click on this tick right here to launch at login. It will always be there. And I actually changed the theme for it, the Pale Night theme. Also, you can find themes for these on the internet. There's so many, and they're super easy to install. And there's a lot of things you can do in here, but I'll show you what it actually is. My hotkey right now is Control Space. I hit Control Space, and the search bar comes up. I can search whatever I want, like App Imager. I just hit that, search it, and it opens me up for so fast. So I really love the use of it because like if I'm doing something fast and I want to app like terminal, I just type it in so fastly and it shows right up. So it's a super useful tool, helps you open up apps way faster. If you were like before, you'd have to go over here, look for them, or you'd have to wait for Lightpad to open up. You have to wait for it and then search it. But this way, it's just so much faster. You just do it that fast. And you can even do web searches. It's so awesome. Pi, like if I wanted to search for Pi, I don't want PZIP. Oh man. If I wanted to search for something in Google, you can just type it in there and it should come up. Like here, control space. Did it crash? Something happened right there. Huh. Oh, it's... So there was actually a little crash right there. It's no biggie. But that is U Launcher. It's super useful. I would definitely recommend installing it. And all you have to do to install it is use Pi Apps, which comes pre installed on Twister OS, or is really easy to install on Raspberry Pi OS. It's an eye candy, I think. Yeah, U Launcher. It's an eye candy. But yeah, so that's about it for that part. And then if you were to go over to some other applications that I've installed myself. Um, oh, this screenshot manager, I also really like it. comes default on Twister OS. If I was to open up a window like Terminal. And then right here on the screenshot manager, I could just go Active Window. And I hit OK. And then it just gets that one window. And it's super easy. 
you can copy the clipboard or you can host on Imgur, which is like a free website. It just uploads your picture and you can send that link to anyone you want and they'll be able to see your image. So it's a super, I really like this screenshot manager actually. It's really great. And that's why I have it on my dock so I can easily use it. And then my terminal, you see, I've also themed my terminal. I made it white and red, which I kind of think it looks pretty elegant, pretty cool. And we have nail effects right here. We have the Twister OS logo and all our information. So yeah, I really enjoyed using this actually. If we go to software, since Twister OS is so rich and has so many softwares already there, I just love it. That's probably one of the main reasons I've switched to it, honestly. So of course we have Discord, which comes pre-installed. We have Chromium Web Browser, About Twister OS. The rest are just some other apps. I installed this from PyCast. It's Duke Nukem 3D, Minecraft Pi, Minecraft Bedrock Launcher, which I've also installed from Pi Apps. The rest are just some other stuff there. We have Box86, Raspberry Pi Configuration, RetroPie, Quake, NeoFetch. So there's a lot of stuff in here. A lot of this stuff I actually didn't install myself. It came pre-installed. Oh, this tool is really useful. When your Twister OS gets a new update, all you have to do is use this tool and it will get grab all the updates for you. So I really love it. And the thing about Twister OS, you actually have a Wine desktop and configuration launcher already there. So it's super easy to configure Wine with Box86. So I really love that. If we go over here, we have some more stuff right here. Yeah, so this is my Twister OS setup basically, and my new default Raspberry Pi setup, which I honestly really like. It's super elegant. You can play games on here. You have Box86, and because it is Twister OS, you get all of the Box86 wine updates first with those patches. So it's just really fun and easy to use. That's why I really love it. Be once I saw how great the patches were and the updates, that's probably one of the main reasons that I switched to this because it's so easy to use. And I actually really love XFCE after I've used it some. The default desktop environment that Twister OS uses is, co is called XFCE. It's super themable. I can make it look however I want and I can do whatever I want with it. So that is really why I loved it and switched to it. I mean, you see, and you get all the Pie Kiss, you get Pie Apps, you get all those things pre-installed. So if you ever mess up your system, all you have to do is just reflash Twister OS and most of your stuff there. But if you are kind of scared about it, like I do, sometimes get worried that I'm going to mess something up and I won't have a backup. I just use Win32 Disk Imager and I make a backup image and then I can zip it up to make it even smaller. And bam, I have a nice backup of my operating system that if in the case that something wrong goes, I can easily restore it with Etcher. So it's a really nice tool. And Launchpad also, I'm a huge fan of it because I use Ulauncher if I know the name. If I don't know the name, I use Light, Lightpad and you can see graphically the icon and stuff. So if you don't remember the name, you can might remember the icon, which enables you to find it super easily. So it's just really awesome to have this. Like I also installed Zoom to be able to go into meetings and it's just super fun. I love Twister OS and by switching over to it, I've seen how much more, how great it is. I used to just use it as my extra SD cards, but now as it's on my main USB drive, I really love it. And I would recommend you guys using it, honestly. You get those Twister OS web apps, which I made a video out before, but yeah, it's really cool. It's really awesome. And I've had a great time playing around with it, theming. If you're interested in knowing how I did all these themings or anything, just comment down below. Tell me if you need a video or if you just want some instructions and I could probably be able to help you out. So yeah, so this is my Twister OS desktop setup on my Raspberry Pi. So if you thought this video was cool, please hit that like button. And yeah, like always, hit don't forget to hit that subscribe button.